Well, what's up guys welcome back to the arctic vet youtube channel now this might be a special this might be a two for today maybe not anyways besides the point here we have my brother dakota and his 1997 uh oh, I, I almost called this a chevy <laughs> dodge ram 1500 <laughs> hey i got a habit of calling truck chevys we are fixing his truck today and we actually have to put in some new hub assembly bolts so we've got some new ones and we are going to be putting them on the driver front side and showing you guys just how to do that the socket size for these guys is a i think i said three quarters might be wrong nope the 9 16 this 9 16 socket so we've already got it jacked up we're about to hop up under here show you guys where we're working at what we're working with but before we're doing that we're gonna go get some knocker loose, spray it on there, spray it on the other side as well, because we're gonna be working on that side. Won't show you that side, we'll just do one side, make it nice and easy for y'all. So stay tuned and we'll show you just how to get this job done. They seem to have done it. We have three people. Yep. Three people. Three people on. Yeah. Here. Yeah, that is gonna be kind of a pain. But right here I think we'll be okay. So we're working on this side right now. Hang on, bub. That sounds funny. If you come under here, it's a little plate. Oh, I see it. Yeah, that yeah, that little piece right there. Yeah. Well, hopefully those are still lined up. If, uh -huh. if it needs to be. It, sh it should be. With the other bolt being in there still. Right. right. So we're trying to do this with the wheel on at first. I think we can get away with it. Yeah, we're gonna take off the wheel. I think no, this one crap it. though. Uh oh. <laughs> I've used this so many times. <laughs> Is that the right way? Yeah. Yeah. Oh god. Okay. Okay. Oh, there you why go. you why you That's how we that's how you break them loose. <laughs> No, that one broke. Not bad. No. All right, so we do have to take the wheel off and the brake caliper. Then we're gonna take the rotor off and that'll give us better access to the hub and the bolts themselves. So now that we've got the rotor off and the brake pad caliper off, we seen that this bolt here actually completely snapped and part of it was still in which is why we couldn't put the new one in so you might run into that as well <laughs> if you do you you could get lucky like this and just use some pliers to feed this thing out get it loose enough you can use your fingers get it all the way out of there Boom! there we go Dang, man, I snapped now we can, that thing. Now we can put the new one in. <laughs> that is Dang. wild. And then also tighten this top one and put the other one in as well. Let's do this side first, though. So now oh, we turn the one. steering wheel. It's okay. And we are getting this last bolt in here. So we're just getting it now. And then we'll be done. That's that's how easy this is. So no. If you guys enjoyed this video, if it helped you out, smash that thumbs up. Don't forget to drop some comments down below. Let me know what you think. That is all it takes to replace your uh, hub bolts, which if you're replacing the hub, you could also easily do the same process. 
just literally remove the hub, put the new one on, and then put the bolts in. That's that's the extra step for removing your actual hub if you're replacing that. Not too bad, pretty simple. Uh, it's taken us what maybe 30 minutes. So, but we had a we had some like we had to go find some tools and stuff like that. So, there right, you guys. You're gonna need a three eighths um, Allen key for the brake rotor or caliper. I'm sorry, caliper, and then a nine sixteen socket, socket wrench, a jack, stands. I think that's about it. It's muscle. Don't forget your muscle. We'll catch you guys <laughs> in another video tomorrow on the daily vlog channel. Don't forget to subscribe. God bless you. All right, guys. Um, this is our devotional part for the day. Previously, so I'm gonna add this into the end because it's kind of a how to video. So, uh, thanks for sticking around and being here for this. This is our Jesus Born of Virtual Work. Today is Saturday, September 18th. Seek to please me above all else. Let that goal be your focal point as you go through this day. Such a mindset will protect you from scattering your energy to the winds. The free will I bestowed on you comes with an awesome responsibility. Each day presents you with choice after choice. Many of these decisions you can ignore and this make by default. Without a focal point to guide you, you can easily lose your way. That's why it's so important to stay in communication with me, living in thankful awareness of my presence. You inhabit a fallen, disjointed world where things are constantly unraveling around the edges. Only a vibrant relationship with me can keep you from coming unraveled too. That's awesome. Have a blessed day.